guys, welcome to Aaron's Automotive. So as you saw in those uh, few quick clips, were people with their campers who did not know their overall height of their rig. So the purpose of this video is actually going to show you how to do that, mainly for, for safety reasons, but not just for you, but for the other motors on the road. You know, let's say you're traveling down the freeway. Sure, those clips were, you know, down some side street, not really terrible traffic, not fast moving traffic, anything like that. But let's say you're traveling down the freeway. There's a, uh, there's an overhanging or, the, you know, a bridge above head that even if it's only two inches taller or shorter, I mean, than the actual height of your rig, if you don't know what your height is and you're traveling 60 miles an hour down that bridge or down that road and you smack your air conditioning unit off, that doesn't, you know, necessarily put you into any danger. But that puts the person behind you, you know, puts their life into risk. And all those air conditioning units aren't light. Imagine one of those flying off, smashing through your windshield, striking you. You're either going to be seriously injured at best case, at worst case, you're not going to survive. So the point of this video is for safety. So a few items that you're going to need is you're going to need a tape measure. This one's 25 feet more than adequate for my setup. You're also going to need a permanent marker. I'll tell you why you need that in a bit. And finally, the last item you're going to need, I'll step out here, is a board. This is important. So we're going to put this up on our roof. I'm just going to do it from down here for now. Once I get up there, I'll reposition it. There, so it's up on my roof. We're also going to take our tape measure. And we're going to find the low surface of the ground. I'll extend out my tape measure. Now that lowest portion is going to be this step. So I'm going to put this into there. Hard to do with one hand. I kind of wish I had a tripod and not just this stupid selfie stick. But that's actually pretty frozen. So, because it's frozen, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to measure from this piece of wood here. Go up. That's not even grab. We're going to basically measure from this piece of wood to the roof and then I'll measure the distance between here to the ground and that'll give me my overall height unless maybe this cement brick will be enough to hold it. Actually, you know what, I bet you I could just feed the thing down from the top to the ground. So I've never measured the height of this RV, so I'm going to give this a shot, I'm gonna climb up here tape measure up there also gives me a good chance to see check out my roof make sure I've got no water leaks and it actually looks like I've got a roof repair that's going to need to be repaired right over there but hey this coming year this whole entire roof is going to be getting resealed so also stay tuned for that video. All right, so now that we're up here, uh, I gotta be careful of these power lines. I don't wanna, actually I think these are just cable lines. I think the line running through the neighbors is actually my power. Or yeah, that's the power. So these are my phone and cable lines, but you still wanna be careful of these. Um, Yeah, I'll just lift this up and walk under it. I'm not too worried about getting electrocuted from telephone cables. <sighs> All right, so once you're up on your roof, you're gonna find the high surface. This happens to be this guy here. You're gonna lay your board across it. Because you need to find, like I said, high surface. 
If your board is up here and you measure up to your board, to the top of your board, you'll never have any height issues. So I'm gonna close my camper door or try to. Close enough. All right, take a seat. And I'm gonna have to find a place to situate you guys while I use two hands. All right, so I needed two hands, so I had to put the camera down. But as you can see, this is sitting down there on the ground. And it's actually sitting on the concrete blocks that my motorhome's parked on, which would simulate a road surface. And if you look at the tape measure, you can see it is a uh, focus, 10 feet, one, two, three and a half so it's ten foot three and a half so I'm gonna say ten foot four inches and I always like to give two extra inches so ten foot six would uh, is what my safe height of my RV is anything lower than ten foot six I cannot go under safely now because I'm sitting on that concrete brick if I go right straight to the grass Underneath it, you can see, come on, get off that brick, there. You can see that it is actually sitting right there at 10 foot 6. So that gives me a little bit of room. So, you know, there's not many bridges, but there are a few that I've seen that are uh, about uh, 10 feet 8. So 10 foot 6. I can, uh, I can clearly go under those bridges. So I'm gonna climb down from here and we'll go right that measurement down. All right, so we're off the roof, we're back in the motorhome. Uh, let me turn on this light for some better lighting. There we go. So now we've got our, our height, which was 10 feet, six inches. For my safety, for my, you know, just so I feel safe, I don't have to worry at all about hitting anything, I'm going to go 10 feet 6 inches. Now, I might not be the only person who drives this motor home. I would be comfortable enough to take my motor home, go under a 10 foot 8 bridge. I'd go slow, but I'd be comfortable. But, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to put my clearance, now I live in Saskatchewan, Canada. We don't have that many low clearances for bridges and stuff. Most of our bridges are around the 25, 30 foot mark tall. Uh, so I'm going to mark my overall clearance a little bit taller than 10 foot 8. Because there are a few small little residential places around here that are 10 feet 8. Sorry, that was probably an unsightly, really weird close-up. So, to uh, alleviate the factor of anybody else driving my RV and deciding to go under, you know, through a clearance that's just at the limit of this motorhome. There, move my steering wheel down so I can start riding. I'm going to mark this as 10 foot 10 for the clearance. That's also going to eliminate anybody trying to take the stupid thing through a, uh, a drive through. You know, if you want to go through a drive through or you want to go to fast food, get out of the damn thing and, and walk in. So that's going to alleviate this. Now, where do you want to write this? Well, you want to write it somewhere where it's going to be visible. So sitting in my driver's seat, looking out the window, and here's what I see. This is basically, well, okay, what I see is everything, you know, looking straight forward. I see uh, pretty much from here to here is what I can see. 
just by glancing my eye quite quickly. So I know a lot of people will write them, you know, right above the speedometer here. Now I'm holding the camera kind of low, so, but I physically cannot see. This is what I see right now, looking at the speedometer. That's what I see. So I want to put it somewhere. Now I could write it right here. I see that. Uh, but I think I'm actually going to write it right above the air conditioning controls. So I'm going to go right here and go M A X H E I G H max height, two exclamations. Now I said I was going 10 foot 10. And that's to eliminate any idiots going through the drive through at this thing as well. So, 10 foot, 10 inches. That is the max height. That's, or I guess minimum height that the bridge is going to have to be for anybody to safely, comfortably get through. Because who knows, what if I throw up a, you know, a CB whip antenna or throw that thing up on the roof or I get a satellite dish for camping and stuff. You know, that's going to give me quite a few extra inches, you know, the actual measurement from the ground, from the, you know, road surface, the concrete brick to the top of that. The uh, one by four was ten foot six. So without the one by four, it'd be ten by five, or yeah, ten foot five. So essentially, I've given myself five extra inches of clearance. But that's for my own safety. If you guys don't want to go and do that route, and you want to just mark down the actual physical height of your motorhome or your camper, cabin, trailer, whatever it is that you have, uh, you guys feel free to do it that way. You know, mark it down as its maximum height then. But I wanted to give myself an extra little bit of leeway, some clearance due to road factors. Who knows? Uh, maybe I'm going to go camping in the winter, traveling. Maybe there's ice on the road, and that raises the road surface a little. So this just gives me some peace of mind with the motorhome, especially traveling with my family. But if you guys in, uh, enjoyed this video, I ask that you give it a thumbs up, comment below. If you want to see more videos, I ask that you hit that subscribe button. Probably going to be, well, I guess this is my left, probably going to be somewhere around here then. Is this the right side of the screen? Yeah, I think that's the right side. If it's not, it'll be on the right side of the screen at the bottom corner. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.